Chapman, still alone, travels into the forest and rests on a log, the log is shown to be a massive bug, Chapman fires at it, but it does not react, Chapman is slain by a skull crawler as the beast flees. Conrad informs Marlowe that they intend to reach their rendezvous spot on the north side of the island within three days in order to be rescued, Marlowe says it can't be done in three days on foot, so he offers to lead them in the proper direction, he bids the Indians good night and boards a boat with the crew, Nieves is caught up by carnivorous birds and ripped apart Madeira shortly after riding away. Along the way, Weaver comes across a massive water buffalo trapped beneath a downed helicopter, she tries to hoist it up to rescue the buffalo, but Kong appears and pulls the helicopter away, he momentarily looks down at Weaver before walking away, she looks more awed than afraid by him. The gang is led by Marlowe into the Forbidden Zone, a previous fight between Kong's ancestors and the skull crawlers, the massive bones of Kong's family are scattered throughout the area, when a skull crawler emerges, the gang is forced to flee, Conrad observes the skull crawler spitting up Chapman's skull and dog tags, Packard and his guys are in the same neighborhood, Randa is photographing when he is kidnapped and eaten by a skull crawler. Another beast appears and begins to assault and draw. Victims in with its tongue. The struggle with the skull crawlers and a wave of carnivorous birds continues, Marlowe pulls out Ikari's sword and slices through many of the birds before giving it over to Conrad, Weaver kills one by putting a lighter into a hole, causing gases to ignite and set fire to the beast. They regroup after the combat, Packard is still on the hunt for Chapman, Conrad displays Packard Chapman's dog tags as proof of his death, despite the protests of Marlowe, Conrad, and Weaver, Packard wants to find Chapman's ammo store so that they might kill Kong, he is hellbent on vengeance for the murders of his men. Packard gathers explosives and sets up a trap for Kong that night, meanwhile, Conrad and Weaver come across the beast, but Weaver approaches him with caution, he is kind as she lays her hand on his cheek, Packard, on the other hand, draws Kong toward him, the troops turn against Packard, who continues to defy them, the gang is forced to flee as the largest skull crawler breaks from the ground, Packard stays behind to set the bombs off, but Kong smashes him with his fist. As the big skull crawler chases them, the surviving flee to the shore, Cole remains behind to commit suicide with the explosive devices he has attached to himself, the monster, however, tail whips Cole into a wall and he blows up nevertheless, the skull crawler advances on the group until Kong appears and slams into the beast, Kong attack the beast with a ship's propeller linked to a length of anchor chain, eventually slicing it on the throat, the best isn't dead, and he's back, Weaver pulls out a flare gun and fires it at the skull crawler in the face. Kong grabs the skull crawler and throws him against the wall, throwing Weaver into the river, Kong drags Weaver out and continues to fight the skull crawler, he smashes his hand down the monster's neck, yanking out its intestines, Kong then leaves, leaving Weaver next to Conrad. The survivors, Conrad, Weaver, Marlowe, Brooks, Lynn, Mills, Slivko, and Rellis, board the boat shortly after, and three choppers arrive to pick them up, Kong keeps an eye out in the distance to guard his domain, he lets out a shout as he pounds his fist. As the credits roll, we see video of Marlowe eventually going home to Chicago, where he sees his wife for the first time and finally meets his adult son, he then settles in with a hot dog and a drink to watch a Cubs game. Following the credits, Conrad and Weaver are being interrogated by Monarch in an interrogation chamber, Brooks and Lin enter the room and inform the two that Kong was not the only monster out there and that this world did not always belong to humanity, Brooks takes out various files, including a Tokyo map, before launching a slideshow, the images show another team discovering cave paintings of numerous monsters, including Mothra, King Ghidorah, Rodden, and Godzilla, the final sounds we hear are Kong and Godzilla roaring together.